Most four-wheel drivers appreciate that when you go bush and you want to power some of your electrical accessories like your fridges and lights and that sort of thing, you will need to have a second or an auxiliary battery. But when you start to go shopping for these items, you'll find that there are some vastly different products and features. We've been using Red Arc dual battery systems for the last five years or so, and they are fantastic quality. They're Australian made, and the factory is down in Adelaide. Now the two different types that we've mainly been using in our crew vehicles has been the simple battery isolator and the little item I've got just in here, it's called the Red Arc BCDC. It's tucked just back there next to the second battery in our Navara. Now the BCDC is what we know as a multi-stage DC to DC battery charger. It's fully sealed and while it is a starter battery isolator, it's got a whole host of extra features. It's got your solar regulator and it also has the ability to charge AGM, gel, calcium content, VRLA and standard lead acid batteries. And importantly from a four wheel drive perspective, it's a fully sealed unit. So it's sealed against dust and water, so you can pretty much mount these things just about anywhere and they will survive. You can even plug in some solar too to keep everything topped up and you could literally stay in the one spot for weeks. But if you find that you don't really need all the features of the BCDC, then you could look at the more budget option of the Red Arc Isolator. It still isolates your starter battery from your auxiliary battery, so that protects that starter battery and makes sure that it will have enough power to start your vehicle in the morning. For my sort of driving, I prefer the Red Arc BCDC because of all its features, but you might find that within your budgets, the Red Arc battery isolator will do the job just fine. I think the important thing is with any of these units is that vehicles are getting more and more complicated these days and when you've got a serious touring vehicle you do want to make sure that that installation is first class. Now when you have a look at the way this has been installed into my Nissan Patrol here it is absolutely first class workmanship. This has come a long way from the days of spaghetti wiring and wires literally all over the place and clamped onto one single terminal. This is the way it should be done and if your system isn't installed like that then you could have some problems when you start going over those rough and corrugated roads in the bush. Yeah.